This is a short video for the thermodynamics topic of A-level chemistry, and it sits alongside the longer thermodynamics definitions video and also the born harbour cycles video. And in this video, we're going to be specifically looking at what we mean by the enthalpy of lattice formation and what affects the magnitude of that enthalpy. Within the thermodynamics topic in A-level chemistry, you need to know that the enthalpy of lattice formation is the standard enthalpy change when one mole of solid ionic compound is formed from its gaseous ions. Now, that probably sounds like quite an unlikely thing to happen, and it is. It's not something that we can measure experimentally, and that's why we need to develop born harbour cycles in order to be able to calculate theoretical values for this enthalpy. Enthalpy of lattice formation is the direct opposite process of the enthalpy of lattice dissociation. So while enthalpy of lattice formation is always exothermic, enthalpy of lattice dissociation will always have the same value but be endothermic. So formation is going to be a negative enthalpy and dissociation is going to be a positive enthalpy, but they will have the same magnitude as each other. The enthalpy of lattice formation tells you how strong a bond is. And because it's for the lattice formation from ions, it only exists for ionic compounds. A typical equation representing enthalpy of lattice formation might look like this. As you can see, it's really important that we have the state symbols in here because this enthalpy is defined in terms of gaseous ions forming a solid compound. And it's also really important that we have one mole of ionic compound being made. Based on this equation, pause the video and see if you can write equations representing the enthalpy of lattice formation for these three compounds. Hopefully you were able to generate these three equations. For all three, you should have one mole of ionic compound being formed, and that needs to be in a solid state, and you should have it formed from gaseous ions, which you need to show with your state symbols. As we said previously, enthalpy of lattice formation tells you how strong are the bonds in an ionic compound. So the more negative a value you have, the more exothermic the process of making that ionic compound was, and therefore that tells you that we have stronger bonds. And we always want to be talking in terms of these enthalpies being more negative or more exothermic. Um, it's not a good idea to talk about it being larger because that could be ambiguous and can often cost you the mark. So there are a couple of things that can influence the size of this enthalpy of lattice formation. If we look at the first three compounds in this table, these are all group one chlorides. So if you think about a lithium ion that's got a single shell and a single positive charge, and then a sodium ion has a second shell and that same one positive charge, and then potassium has got three shells and that single positive charge. And if you look at the values for these enthalpies of lattice formation, you can see that lithium chloride has the most exothermic or the most negative enthalpy of lattice formation. And so the reason for that is that as we're going down the group, we've got the same charge, but increasingly larger ions. And so therefore we have decreasing charge density. In other words, that single positive charge is spread out over a larger and larger area. And that's going to mean that the strong electrostatic force of attraction between the cation and the chloride ion um, is, is decreasing, it's becoming weaker as we go down group one. And this also applies if we look at our anions. So a chloride ion is a smaller ion than a bromide ion, and therefore it has a higher charge density. So it has a stronger electrostatic force of attraction between it and the potassium ions. And therefore this is more exothermic than the value for potassium bromide. So that's our first thing. A smaller ion means a higher charge, charge density and therefore a more negative value. The second thing, if we look at magnesium chloride and we compare it to sodium chloride, you can see that magnesium chloride has a much more exothermic enthalpy of lattice formation. And the reason there is that while these two ions, these two cations, are about the same size as each other, magnesium, of course, is a two plus ion, whereas sodium is only a single plus ion. So because we have a more charged particle, there's going to be a stronger electrostatic force of attraction between the magnesium and the chloride ion, and therefore we're going to have a more exothermic value. So those are the two factors that are going to affect the size or the magnitude of the enthalpy of lattice formation. 
thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful in your thermodynamics revision. If you did, then let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more A-level chemistry videos coming soon. The next video you need to watch is about constructing Born Harbour cycles.